Hi, I'm Jared from Tinfoil Firewall, and right now I'm going to demonstrate Fire Sheep. Basically, when you use a website like Twitter, Amazon, Facebook, you sign in and you put your password in. Now, this website will encrypt your password, but it, when it does, it downloads a cookie onto your computer, and it does not encrypt that cookie. So while your password is protected, it, is not, it does not have the full protection that it deserves. Basically, Fire Sheep accesses that cookie and uses it to break into your Twitter, your Facebook accounts, whatnot, basically anything that doesn't protect you the way it should. Now, there is a widely known solution to this problem, and it's called HTTP or SSL. Basically, this is full encryption, end-to-end, -end, from, from your actual physical password to the cookie in your computer. Now, if this solution is so widely known, then why do huge websites like Facebook still not offer full protection from hackers? Likely, it's because people just aren't aware of the problem. That's why I'm making this video, to make people aware of the problem so that they demand that huge websites like Facebook, Twitter, Amazon uh, give you the full protection that you deserve. All right, now here's a demonstration of how this works. First, download the Firefox app from codebutler.com slash firesheep. To help us demonstrate this, I've enlisted my friend Billy, who is right here and logged onto Facebook right now. As you can see, he is on Facebook. Now, this only works if you're on the same Wi-Fi hotspot area as someone else, so luckily, me and Billy are sharing the same room and the same Wi-Fi connection. Once downloaded, open up the Fire Sheep sidebar and click Start Capturing, like so. As you can see, things are already popping up. We have access to Alex, Alice, or perhaps Bob's Windows Live account. All right, here it is, Billy Weber's Facebook. Simply log out of your own Facebook. Click on Billy's name. And here it is, you're logged on as Billy Weber. Now as you notice, it doesn't just work for Facebook, we also have Windows Live, Google, and many other people's Facebooks. To show that this works, I will now update Billy's status. Apparently, he's been hacked. All right, Billy, check your Facebook. Oh, okay. Um, what does it say? <laughs> I've been hacked. You jerk. <laughs> As you can see, it was far too easy to just waltz in and hack Billy's Facebook and steal all of his information that he could possibly have in private messages or change his life by uploading pictures or videos that might be inappropriate. Um, so now you may be wondering, how can we stop this? Below I have provided a link to a petition to the 100 most visited websites strongly encouraging them to install full HTTPS securities into their websites, essentially full password encryption from the front end to the back end. So please, I implore you, go sign that petition, and I hope you learned something. Thank you very much. Have a great day.